Good morning. We are here with a tutorial video on how to do our on shape number six assignment, which is this uh, object right here. And so if we take a look at this, uh, a couple things that we notice, it's in millimeters, it's metric. And so we'll set that up on our document. And then it seems to me that the top view uh, is going to give us a nice view of being able to draw this base, pull up the circle, and then we'll add this back feature and this front feature, and lastly we'll put this little rib for support in there. And so we'll start in the top view. Um, first thing we wanted to do here was get into our metric. And let's do kilograms on this one. So we have millimeters and kilograms. I think that's what it said. Millimeters and kilograms, yes. Okay. All right, so we're set there. We're going to start a new sketch. In the top window, view normal two. And so we're going to start with these circles here. And be careful on this drawing. It had everything in radiuses. And we, of course, for on shape, want that in diameters. So for our first circle, we have a radius of 18. And I'm going to put those circles on the origin. And I could just do 18 times 2, and that would get me the, rate, the diameter I want. Or you could do the math in your head and get to the diameter that way. All right, and then we go to the next one, which is 35. And that, of course, would be 70 for my diameter. Oops, notice I made a little mistake there. I went to draw that circle, and I did not get it on the origin. So I'm going to do this and this. Hopefully you did that right. You don't have to do it like I did, but I just made that coincident to get it centered then. Okay. And now I'm going to head to these other circles where we have a 9 and an 18 um, radiuses. The distance from there to there is 130 based on this front uh, view right here. And everything is centered and symmetric. So 130, if I divide that by 2, it's 65. <coughs> And so I'll do a line, a construction line, and we'll go straight up. And we'll do that at 65. And then we'll do another one down there at 65. So that should be a total of 130. Just to check that and make sure. And so now those points of those, those endpoints of those construction lines are going to be where we make those circles. So 9 and 18. So 9 times 2 is 18 for the first one. And 18 times 2 is 36. Okay, and if we look back here, I'm going to make this a full circle, and then I'll do some connecting and trimming, and then I'm going to make this arc right here, which we see goes underneath of this feature. So that's a full arc there. I'm going to make that a full circle as well and go from there. Okay, so that number was 24, which means that circle should be 48. And right now I'm going to mirror copy. So select the mirror line. I don't have one yet. So let's make a construction line. And while I'm making that construction line, I'm going to go ahead and throw this dimension on it of 128. So from here to the back of my object is 128 millimeters. And so to make my mirroring line, I'm also just going to make it my kind of reference line here. 128. And so then that gets us to the back of this object as well. And so now let's get this. Then we can drag a window. And mirror all those circles over there. And we're done with our mirroring for the moment. Then we go to the radius 45 circle. Which of course is 90. And I missed again. Gosh darn it. So I'm going to hit circle. Make sure I get where I want to be this time. Now... Move all these kind of out of the way a little bit. Clarify some stuff. Oh, 
Okay. So now it's time to kind of um, fine tune some of this. So before I start connecting things, I'm going to draw this uh, rectangle back here. So it's 75 by 56. And I'm going to draw that just kind of off in the space over here. 56 by 75. Okay. And I'm going to place a point at the midpoint right there. And now I can select that midpoint I used and the end of this line, and I'm going to make them concentric, coincident, excuse me, not concentric. So now that rectangle is in place where I need it to be back here. And so now we know that this line just goes from this corner and ties in up there. So let's get our line tool right there. And I'm just putting it anywhere for now. And then I'm going to select both of those and tell it that I want it to be tangent to. Do the same thing down here, this and this, tangent that line, okay. And then this line goes straight down, so it's vertical, and it connects into that. And so I want that to be tangent to that top circle, and of course vertical then. And we'll mirror that line down just to make sure that they're the same. And they are, so we are good there. All right, now we can do some trimming. So I don't need this, and this, and this, and this to get that circle back to just where we want it to be, which is right there. Then we can get rid of this. And now we've cleaned up our drawing. It's looking a lot better here. <coughs> uh, at this point, we're kind of ready to head into our extrusion type stuff. So let's take a look at this again. So what I'm going to do right now is pull up a couple of things. I'm going to look at the base here and it's telling me that the base is 15 and then these little circles are 19. Oops. Okay, so let's get isometric here. We'll confirm that sketch and then we'll start doing some extruding. Let's do this base and this base. It's going to be 15. Okay, and then we're going to do a new extrusion here. We need to bring our sketch back to life. This, we want it to add to it, which is going to be 19. And this one as well. That one's done. And then this top circle up here gets pulled up from the bottom all the way to the top, 119 millimeters, 119. So I'm going to grab that. 119, make sure it's added to our part, not a new one. All right, and so we are kind of cooking there. So now let's go focus on this little feature back here. And if we look up here, it says that this radius is 30, or excuse me, the center point is up 30 from the bottom, and that its radius is 14. And if you're wondering what size this arc is, well, that was already given to us when it was told that it's 56. So that's 56 radius, and then we have a circle with a radius of 14. Now to do this, I'm going to create a new sketch, turn this other one off, and I want it right on this surface. So then I view normal two, and we're going to draw our construction line again, and we want to be in the center, but of the bottom, and we're going to come up 30. Okay, and then I can draw the circle, which was radius 14, so 28, and we can draw a center point arc, it goes straight out, and it's going to be right above this, so I can hover on that and wake it up, and I want it to be right there, and end right there, and then I can connect those with some lines. And that should bring that surface all together. <coughs> and I can confirm that. Isometric. Extrude. And we want to add this. We're going to go the other way. And that number was 75. We could, uh, we could type it in that way. We could also change this to the uh, next surface or select the face. Any of those are, would work just as well. 
All right, so now we can see our object starting to come together. And so if we come back to this, I want to I want to do this circle, this little nozzle part here. And the only really dimension that I get about locating it is I'm told that it's 193 millimeters from this back surface all the way to the front. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do first. Is I'm going to create a plane. And I'm going to offset that plane from this surface. So this is my back. And it's also vertical, which is good. And I want it to go the other way. And it's 193. And so now you can see that plane that's out there in front. Right there. And that's where I want to create my new sketch. So I'm going to new sketch on this plane 1. View normal 2. Okay, now I know that I'm drawing that at 193 from the back. And so we have a 48 diameter for that circle. And then the inside one is 12 and a half, which means 25 and 48. And then it is 89 up from the middle. Okay, so I'm going to do a construction line from here. And we want that to be 89. And then the first circle was... 25 and the second one was 48 and so that's these two circles and we just want to pull them back into we can extrude this now into this arc so here's what we're going to do we're just going to extrude let's do the whole object for now and we want to instead of blind go up to next and add it to it okay and then I'm going to bring that sketch back to life and push the hole through now. So just the inside there. And we're going to remove. So I'm going to go the other way. <laughs> and we don't want to go through all. So let's see what up to next does, if that takes us through. Perfect. Gets it through this surface, but not through the back. All right. And we can then uh, confirm that. And so now the last thing we need to do is draw the uh, rib for support, and it's centered, and it's 12 millimeters. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to draw it in the top. So I'm going to create a new sketch right on the top of that. And then I want to go normal too. And let's do a construction line just in the middle here. And then we need to draw another line there and there and then we'll dimension those and they need to be six away for a total of 12 okay we know they're centered because i did it that way and really that's all you need in this view those are just going to be reference points for us so then we can so uh, confirm that come back to isometric and we're going to need to create another um plane now and so this plane can be offset. It's going to, we're going to click front, okay? And then we want to offset it just that 6 millimeters. And so it's parallel with the front plane, front plane offset 6 millimeters. All right? And then that is where we're going to want to create our sketch, our new sketch, that is, to do this uh, support rib here. Okay, so now we can start drawing some lines. We want to make uh, use of some stuff first, so we're going to use this Use tool. We want to wake up this top. We want this whole arc. Whoops, not the bat point. So I just undid that last one. I want this whole line, this line, and there we go. Okay, and now we're going to create some lines. So we need to zoom in here, and we can get to just that now. That's what we want. So that was we, we found this point by making those lines in that other top sketch. So I click there. I go up all the way. Okay, click anywhere on this and make this and this tangent. Okay, we're going to extrude that now and we're going to push it back the other way. Excuse me, that should be 12. And we're done.